Hi guys, my name is Puspender Sani once again I came with a very interesting tutorial. In this tutorial I, I will tell you about notification center and I will tell you how we can use the notification center and what can be the use case for the notification center. So if theoretically we see that suppose you need to refresh some data on the push notification or you need to uh, pass some data. Uh, from one controller to another controller if there is no direct interaction in between controller suppose let's say I need to pass some data from app delegate file to some of my view controller which is exist on the screen but this that is not a root view controller so how you are going to do that and how you are going to pass that data how you are going to observe the data so we will look all these scenario in this today video tutorial so let's begin with the programming and understand how the notification center can be useful for us here this is the notification center definition i will share the link in my video description you can get it and you can understand what is the use case for that or basically what are the, what is that actually and how it will work so here the notification center work in two scenario one is for posting the data another is for observing that data posting the data means we are posting some data from some of the places and observing means we are listening that data okay so let's begin with the programming and understand first of all i'm going to create one fresh new project click on next here i'm going to give the name notification center tute it's a storyboard swift click on next select the location of your project wherever you would like to create that after that click on create button now this is your project after that what we are going to do we are going to implement the notification center functionality in a very simple way suppose this is my app delegate okay from here i need to uh, call some function for this view controller so how we are going to do that even without having interaction in that in some scenario this view controller can be the root controller then you can access this in app delegate directly with the help of root view controller okay from the window but in such a case if there is no direct interaction in between app delegate and view controller or in between any other controller then how you are going to listen the data how you are going to make the action on that so let's understand so first of all I will create one function this is here send notification center data okay from here I will print and I will mark as sending data to notification center now this is done now what is the second task okay the very simple way notification center dot default dot post what is the name of the no notification you would like to send so enter and here we are going to give the name let's say update note okay object can be nil and here is one another thing that is user info user info will be always any hashable and type of any so this we can give let's say i need to pass not underscore id that is i can say anything which is coming which you are getting from backend or anywhere okay that is my data which i am going to post from the notification center now the posting is done now the listening and i'm going to call this function from here because i have not implement any backend functionality so first of all i will print here something we can say start application after that self dot send a notification okay now i will run the application and we will see the output first that is the basic output okay where we are just posting the value we are not listening anywhere 
so we will see the function is getting call or not here the application got launched and you can say start application and sending the data to notification center means our code has been executed up to here now we have to listen this data in our view controller so let's begin with that also okay here first of all in my main screen i'm going to set some data uh, i'm going to set a simple label okay that will be in center of the screen center i can say horizontal and center vertical horizontal is not required so i will set from right left we can say 15 and 15 now i am going to assign the value outlet of this label inside my view controller so from here i will drag and drop and i will say lb temp title okay you can give any name whatever you required now from here now the thing is that whatever the id i am sending from here that we need to display to this label now how we are going to do that let's understand this scenario from here notification center dot default dot add observer that is very simple here those observer is self selector selector we need to create one function and the name of the notification we need to pass over here that is we can say we will copy paste from there and the object is nil now for selector we need to create one objc type method now i will take at objc and it will be private and we can say function observe not and it will be type of notification okay it will pass the notification object what we are listening now i will give self dot observe this is my function which we are going to call and this will be method now the thing is that our work is almost completed i will copy paste this name and i will paste here and we will see print we can say observer called done now we will run and we will see the output here sending data notification center is calling but uh, this is not called so we will identify what is the issue actually okay so the issue is here we are calling this function and this view controller is not yet initialized so that is only the reason so here for solving for displaying that i will give dispatch q dot main dot async after i will give some delay to this for execution okay dot now i will give three second delay so that view controller can be initialized and we can call this function from here now again i will run my application and we will see the output now start application sending data to notification center and this is observer called done means the message is coming from here now we have to print we have to set this not id to our label so i can see a self dot temp label dot text i can say it's a not id notification dot user info and inside that i'm going to give name of my key that is not id after that if it is optional then and we can say a now again i will run and we will see the output there is some warning we have to use that okay fine this question mark was missing again run the application 
start application and here you can see not id 1 whatever we are passing from the app delegate that thing is calling from here okay so like that notification is useful in every application so without uh, refreshing or without timer if you need to refresh any data on the push notification then you can do it easily you no need to run any timer at the background because it will cause the battery issue for your phone and in future apple may reject your application because of battery uh, optimization because your application is taking more battery uses so be aware about that and keep trying to implement the best way and the better things in your program and be a good developer as well and here i have lots of videos for you on my youtube channel if you will visit you will see lots of programming videos that is based in swift and swift ui as well you can log in and you can understand all the videos it's very high level and uh, represent the best practice for the programming so have a great time bye bye